Yeah, uh, don't use this shift restriction. Just use uh, do not use shift restriction because you don't want to restrict based on a shift. It's just going to see how many hours it has worked and it's going to calculate based on that. So coming to the trigger section, my trigger is going to be length of the day and use a rounded boundary, uh, use rounded shift boundary times. So what this is, you if you will be selecting no to trigger the system to evaluate the uh, to evaluate two parameters, you know, using actual instead of round punch times. Like you have to uh, have a minimum qualifying time. So you have to have a minimum qualifying interval and minimum shift length to trigger. Uh, so you basically uh, select no to trigger the system to evaluate the following two parameters. Otherwise, you won't be. Okay. Uh, my example, I just leave it at uh, yes, I think. So, okay, uh, okay, short break exception disqualifies break. So, you select S uh, to implement this rule, which states that if an employee's break is cut short, the entire break is disqualified and the employee receives bonus pay as compensation. So this is associated with the cancel if uh, break is taken policy. So this works in hand with your bonuses. Uh, minimum qualifying interval. So we specify the shortest uh, continuous block of time that the employee is required to work uh, without qualifying for a break. So if the shift length is greater than the minimum interval, the shift qualifies for the bonus. They should also meet the uh, you know shift length to trigger and the maximum shift length to trigger so when all these conditions are met the shift qualifies for the bonus otherwise it will not so minimum shift length to trigger so specific we have to specify a least amount of time that employees are required to work to qualify for deduction the rounded shift length is compared to the shift minimum so maximum shift length is the opposite of that like we specify an amount of time that cancels the automatic deduction the rounded shift length is compared to the maximum amount. So some uh, companies use this option to give a bonus to the employee who work very long shifts. So, but we're not going to be covering bonus here. We'll be doing it when we do overtimes. So locator, what's, what is my locator? So this is uh, one more important, uh, you know, topic here. So locator is uh, nothing but we are specifying at what time the deduction should occur in the shift. So if employees earn a daily shift differential, this automatic deduction, it could affect the time earned in that zone. So when a locator is not specified, the deduction is taken at the beginning of the shift. So if you're saying that uh, locate four hours from the beginning of the shift, it's going to, you know, locate four hours from 11 a.m. or 2 p.m. or 6 p.m. And it's going to, you know, apply the deduction uh, to that that time. So trigger at or after. So what this means is um, these options restrict when a deduction occurs. For example, uh, you know, just uh, for lunch or dinner. Uh, uh, so you're going to restrict uh, deductions based on your uh, requirement so we will have to specify uh, the beginning and the end of the range during which the location must appear for the deduction so uh, this is for you know I'll, I'll give you i'll explain you with some more examples and i'll send you a document uh, you know later this week so you can uh, try all this i'll also tell you what all options you have to do so once you do this you'll be and also have some test uses created for you so you can you know test it on them i'm just waiting to finish the work rule building blocks at least till zones or majority so you know you can start working on work rule building blocks so let's uh, see how you know uh, we'll we'll do some uh, knowledge checks to see how uh, locator or this thing works so uh, consider my shift from 7 a.m to 4 p.m uh, i'll tell you my rule this is my rule so the amount that should be deducted is minus 30. Uh, length of shift to trigger.
4. Locator is 3. Cancel if break taken is 30 minutes and uh, 130 max. So I'm coming in at 7 a.m. and I'm going in going out at uh, 4 p.m. So you will have to tell me what the shift total is and you have to tell me what uh, when what time mail is directed. Shift total each uh, nine hours. Uh, okay, you have to tell me the final total. Uh, final total is the nine hours seven to four. And no final total with the and the deduct update. time is okay. It's eight hours thirty minutes. Yes, correct. Okay, so what time do you think the deduction is going to occur? In uh, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, no, so it's going to, uh, why are you saying it's 11 a.m.? Because that is the break time, that's why. Uh, no, 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 that is not the break time. So, so what system is going to do is, um, oh no, so deduction is not going to happen when your actual break is scheduled for, it, it doesn't work like that. Only break rule applies when you punch in for break in and out during that time, it's going to tell the system that, hey, this is the total shift work, but this is the break time. So that is how break rule works. So what deduction means is when there is no break taken at all, that's when you want the system to understand that okay this person has not taken any break at all so we have to apply a deduction so in order to apply a deduction what we are going to do is we are we are going to first have a checklist so we are going to see the length of the shift to trigger so i'm going to see uh, four hours from a shift started has there been any out punch so what's four hours from the shift started it's learning Sorry? It's 11 a.m. Yes, it's 11 a.m. Correct. So, so okay, so, um, uh, so my employee has punched in at 7 a.m. It's now 11 a.m. Uh, my system is going to check. Okay, it's been four hours. So, length of the shift to trigger is satisfied. So, it's going to see, okay, fine. Um, what should I do next? do next i should see my locator what is my locator it is three so it is saying three so this means that three hours from the shift starts say from 10 a.m i'm going to deduct minus 30 10 30 so my deduction will be applied from 10 a.m to 10 30 p.m um, do you understand okay okay we'll do one more yes, example but, uh, uh, yes yes please go please go ahead uh, but uh, some Anish don't take any break, then why I will deduct from uh, their uh, ship? If, yeah, if you don't want your employee to take break, you will not uh, apply this deduction rule to their work rule. Okay. So if you want an employee to take break and if he is not taking a break, then you will apply both break rules and the deduction rules to their work rules. So when you see all this when you create all these links you'll go to work rules and work rule will ask you what uh, break or what bonus deduction you want so when you set this it creates a work rule and you add this work rule to the payroll and you assign it to the employee so if you don't want the employees to have any 
um, you know, any uh, bonuses or directions or breaks, you don't have to create any. Okay. Okay, so let's do one more example. So I'm coming in at 7 a.m. and I'm going out at 11 a.m. So, um, okay, so in this case, what's going to happen? Tell me the shift total and uh, Um, but in that case, uh, we work only for four hours. Yeah. Okay. So what is going to be my, what is, you have to tell me in this, like this, you have to tell me what is the shift total and what is uh, the deduction, like what time the deduction is going to apply. And the ship totally is uh, 9 a.m. 9? No, it's 7 a.m. to 11. Sorry, I'm very sorry. It's 11 a.m. I'm really sorry. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Not p.m. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then uh, that employee worked that day for 4 hours. Then I consider 2 hours uh, for total ship break and uh, okay okay so how do you think this deduction is going to how do you think the deduction is going to appear I'm sorry I can't understand yeah uh, so how do you think the deduction is going to appear you have to apply the same rule to this time as well uh, yes yes Okay, so yeah, tell me how the direction is going to appear. How is the direction going to work? It's first going to look for length of the shift to trigger. So 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Okay. Four hours worked, but there is no break taken. So locator is going to locate three hours from 7 a.m. 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10. It is going to apply 30 minutes of deduction. So my shift time is going to be 3 hour and 30 minutes and the same thing is going to apply. Uh, do you understand or you are you confused like do you want? Ma'am can I explain it again because I am totally confused in this. Okay so your deduction your way ba you ba you basically want your employees to take a break. If they are not taking any break you want the system to forcefully deduct some time from their time cards how will you okay. let the system know how to deduct it so you're basically going to tell the system see if this employee has been working continuously for four hours without any breaks in between without any out punches in between then locate three hours from the beginning of the shift and deduct 30 minutes from the time so in my first example what's happening i'm punching in at 7 a.m i'm punching out at 4 p.m so from 7 a.m. it will the system is going to check at 11 a.m. No out punch has been taken. So length of the shift to trigger is four, which means seven, four hours from 7 a.m. at until between 7 to 11 a.m. there is no break at all taken. What it is going to say? Okay, we have to make a deduction here. So it is going to check for the locator. Locator is basically where you where you want to locate the deduction on the time card. So location is three hours, which means from 7 a.m. 3 hours from 7 a.m. at 10 a.m. start the deduction. How much to deduct? 30 minutes is your amount. So it's okay. going to deduct minutes. Uh, Ma'am, can I change the locator 3 hours to 4 hours or uh, some other uh, hours? Yes, yes. Period? Yes. If I change the locator time, then I have to change also the length ship trigger time now, also, ma'am. No, that is that is just for the uh, this for, this is only for example I have taken. This is not what you your what you will set up. This is based on your company's requirement. Always the length uh, length of the uh, ship to trigger 
time always less than the or sorry greater than the located time nothing like that you can say see you can say that uh, you can tell the system okay check if uh, for first two hours if there is any out punch if there is no out punch locate two or three hours from the start and then you try to uh, put the deduction there so you can tell the system to do that as well but you don't want to see if there is any out punch in the first two hours and then in the later point of time you don't want to apply uh, a deduction right what if after two hours your employee is going to break out in that case you will not be right so usually you have to check for some time to see if there is any outbreak and then only you will apply the deduction right um hello i it you both yeah, are very yeah, silent yeah. No, if there's any confusion, let me know. We'll try to. Okay, let's see uh, one more example. So I'm coming at 7 a.m., but I'm leaving at 10 a.m. The same rules are going to apply. Uh, what is the shift total and what is the deduction? Is there going to be any deduction or no? No. My shift Good. length is uh, three hours. Sorry. My shift length yeah, yeah. is Total three hours. Yeah, shift length is three hours. Yeah. And deduction is there is no deduction because no deduction. Uh, first my first step is to check the length of the shift to trigger. Uh, there's only three hours. So within three hours there's some punch. So it's not going to go to the next step to locate it. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I will do one more. Okay, so I have multiple punches on my screen, but I am no, I don't have any break rule. Okay, so twelve thirty p.m. and then again at four p.m. With the same rules, try to see if a deduction is going to. Here, uh, I have a sorry, I have a break rule in place. This cancel if break taken, I have it in place. So 30 minutes maximum and 130 minutes. Sorry, 30 minutes is minimum and 130 is maximum. So in this case, what will happen? I'm coming in at 7 a.m. <coughs> I'm going out eight at 12 hour, 30 minutes is my shift time. Sorry, 8 hour? Shift to 30 minutes. 30, 30, right? Yeah. Okay. You, I'm not able to hear a voice. That's why I'm asking again. I'm sorry. Like, okay. it's very loud. That's why. Okay. So, is there going to be any deduction in this case? No, ma'am. Okay, very good. Because uh, it, there should either be 30 minutes minimum break taken or maximum there can be 130 minutes of break taken in this shift. So if there is a break uh, applied, so this person is not going to get any direction. So this is how the length of uh, the shift is going to work. Are you clear? Like, do you have any questions? I will give you the task. I'll create, I'll give you the names to create. You can go ahead and create later. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what to create as well. So, are you clear with this? This is the first method, length of shift. Are you clear? Ma'am, can you go to that Excel sheet? Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ma'am, you put that cancel in if break taken 30 minutes to max. So 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. One or 30 minutes, if it means. I, okay. Uh, if, if I take a break um, more than one hour 30 minutes, then what is going to happen? Then break rule will apply to it. You will have a break rule rounding, right? Yes, yes. Okay. 
that will here it is apply